B to the A to the F to the uh, what's going on guys, your boy back for bringing you guys another video. If you guys can tell by the thumbnail or the title, I'll be showing sure you guys the fastest, most efficient way to get Diamond ARs and Call of Duty Cold War. This is the method I use and many of my other friends use as well. This method will help you get those challenges really easy and really effective. And honestly, you'll be on your road to Dark Matter if that is what you're grinding for, but maybe you're not. Maybe you're just grinding for Diamond ARs. But I'm not going to talk too much without further ado, I just want to hop into the first challenge. So for challenge number one, eliminations. Eliminations is pretty easy. It's one of the easiest challenges ever. Honestly, I don't think anybody should struggle with these challenges. But if, but if you are and you really hate a gun, then honestly, I can't really judge you too much because there are some weapons out there that are not the best for everybody. Probably the only thing I can really tell you to do is probably just look up a class setup or a best class setup for that weapon. And maybe you'll find something that will help you out and make things a little bit easier. But now we're on to challenge number two. And challenge number two is get 100 headshots. And... This challenge in specific, I would recommend not really focusing on this challenge until you get your gun to level 50. The reason why I say that is headshots come natural, so when you're forcing it, it's going to drain more on you and you'll notice the more you get more frustrated. If you just kind of ignore this challenge and go on about your day trying to level up the weapon or getting other challenges, you'll probably won't even notice it. By the time you get your gun to level 50 to 55, you'll probably already have like 80 to 90 headshots, if not completed. So this challenge really isn't, you know, something you focus on, but... If it is your last challenge somehow, if it manages to be your last challenge, my suggestion to you is probably if you run concussions, concussions or if you sneak up on anybody, like let's say you're running Newtown and you get a flank or a spawn slip and the enemy team doesn't notice, anybody you see standing still or does not notice you, go for a quick headshot. And that's it for challenge number two. Now we're on to challenge number three. Challenge number three is basically get 20 bloodthirsties, which is five kills without dying 20 times. That's nothing that's really easy, but I do know somebody and people who do struggle with getting bloodthirsties. So as I said in a previous video for like Diamond X at four, if you want to get bloodthirsties, kind of just play the map smart, get your positioning right. And if you're four off, like if you're one off of bloodthirsty, you might want to like, you know, not rush as much or just be a little bit more tactical. But that's like a, that's a general thing anyway. You kind of want to play smart and move around the map. You know, over to get as much kills as possible without dying kind of the point but you know on the challenge number four all right challenge number four is get 50 long shot medals for this you want to go to hardcore my game of suggestion is domination simply because you have more time and you know uh chances to get way more bloodthirsty than if you were to play tdm this is really easy my suggestion is if you're going for long shots you might as well just equip the thermal which is the last sight on all ars it makes everything so much easier it allows you to see anything that moves in the long distance you can just shoot it you can literally just pop up on the side of the map and go crazy i would probably suggest miami as a map uh garrison as a map satellite as a map and maybe checkmate but i really wasn't rocking on checkmate too much but those maps honestly make it really really easy to get long shots i'm not a fan of miami either but i know there is a lot of spaces to get long shots so you'll probably get a easy long shots there but yeah that the long shots one doesn't take too much probably you can get it done within like i want to say five to ten games if you're fast enough so now we're on to challenge number five now challenge number five is one that kind of takes time but not too much it's another one of those that you can do kind of while you're leveling up the gun challenge number five is kill 75 enemies detected stunned or blinded by your score streaks equipment or field upgrades in multiplayer so the fastest way to get this done is probably run a field mic and concussions if you want to. I personally did not run concussions because it was just easy. Also run counter UAVs and UAVs to also knock them out. My only tip to this one, because it's kind of one that you kind of just do natural, my only tip for this one is don't pop your UAV stupidly. Don't pop your UAV off the of spawn. Which make sure you're like in a good position where you're about to get a lot of kills and then pop your UAV. Also pop your UAV and counter UAV separate because counter UAV... Little do people know counting UAVs actually count towards this challenge. And now we're on challenge number six. So challenge number six is shoot and kill 50 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer. One thing I have to say, because I know a lot of people end up doing it and wonder why they don't have any cover kills, do not play Newtown for this uh, challenge. It will not work. There's no, there's not enough cover kills, and the cover kills in this game, the way they're registered is kind of a little buggy. It was in previous patch notes, they were changing the direction facing, and there's just a bunch of things with the challenges. But this challenge in specific, do not do new challenge. I do not recommend it at all. I would suggest just hopping in any of the original maps because they're they have cover everywhere. They're better than Newtown and Raid for cover. Raid isn't as bad, but it's still not as good as you know just the basic maps. Not saying that you can't do it on Newtown, but you know we're looking for the fastest and the most efficient way. That's not the fastest nor the efficient way. But I recommend just honestly waiting for people to get on head glitches, or if you know head glitch spots that people are always camping on, I'd probably say just watch those head glitches and wait for somebody to pop up and just beam them off of it. It's honestly the fastest way to get it done. But now we're moving on to challenge number seven. Challenge number seven, 
the easiest and the last challenge of all the ARs. Kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. Honestly, that's literally just get 25 double kills, honestly. This is by far one of the easiest challenges in the game. It's a little bit easier than just getting the 300 kills originally. But I will have you know, don't be like, oh man, why did that not count? Why did that not work? If you get a double kill and it doesn't register. It does have to be a little bit faster than the double kill, but within like two seconds of fire, I'm pretty sure it counts. And once you do all those challenges and do all those things and all those tips that I told you guys, you'll have diamond ARs in no time. Like you literally will have diamond ARs super fast. And one important thing I do have to say before this video ends, I do want to point out, do not leave the game once you get your challenges. If you leave the game once you get your challenges, it will take it away in the future. You may keep the camo, but it will technically take it away from you. This is happening to so many people on Twitter, and everybody's wondering what's going on. But, you know, just stay in the game once you get your challenges, or swap to a different gun. And that's it for the video, honestly. But before I end it, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video or if it was helpful at all, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like as well. But also, if you guys want me to go more in depth in the long shot spots on the maps that I named, uh, let me know in the comments. I will do that. I will go and show you guys specific spots. But without further ado, we're out of here. So that little bit start tripping, we gon' get the bad shit. Now on my back, she like living fast. She wanna fall with me, cause we gettin' cash. I hit that bitch raw, I did that and I passed. I did not learn shit in that motherfucking class. I put that bitch like a bag of rags. I'm tryna get all